You may have heard of platforms like Field Nation or Work Market or Cloudwork Pro, but you're not really sure what kinds of jobs to expect to get from those platforms or whether you can even do them. Hello, this is Michael with Field Tech Academy. In my previous video, it was geared towards green newbie guys that don't have a lot of experience. In this video, I'm going to be talking about technicians that have additional skill sets and are maybe a little more experienced in the technology field. In my previous video, I talked about the four main categories that an entry-level tech can do, which is computer hardware, as well as point-of-sale computer hardware, doing site surveys for future installs, doing deinstallation tickets, which are awesome, you get to tear stuff up, and then finally, helper and assist tickets, where you're helping another technician that has experience. If you're someone who has had experience with low voltage cabling or network hardware, then you can kind of fall into another category. There are a lot of network hardware jobs that you can get on these platforms and in the IT contracting industry. The network hardware category requires a little bit more skill set and a few more tools, but still it's a pretty good entry level spot. The biggest challenge for network hardware is recognizing what the pieces of equipment are, you know, what a switch is, what a firewall is, what a cradle point is. Sometimes with network hardware, you have to physically mount a rack on the wall. Some of those things can take some higher level tools. Number one, it's going to be physically mounting hardware in a rack. All that that's really going to require is putting the rack ears on a piece of equipment, physically putting it in the rack, cabling it in the back, according to the instructions that you're given by your tech support. So you'll need to be able to understand when they say, hey, you know, we need to have you connect this port on the switch to this port on the router. You need to be able to recognize what those devices are. They're going to tell you to hook up to the internet circuit. That means you need to be able to identify, is it a cable modem? Is it a fiber modem? How is the internet coming into the suite? And how do I get that from that modem to the device that I need to go to? Another part of Network hardware is installing access points in the ceiling. That's going to require a little more skill set of understanding how to mount something to a ceiling grid, how to mount something to drywall. The next aspect of network hardware, what we call rack and stack or smart hands, is actually being smart hands to the remote tech support groups. What that means is you're going to have to have a laptop. You're going to need to have a USB to serial adapter, a Cisco console cable to go from that serial port to Cisco equipment, a straight through or crossover serial cable. You'll need those items as well as a Windows laptop with a free program called Putty, the ability to have the remote tech support remote into your laptop. So you'll need to have hotspot capability and then you'll give access to the remote tech support. And then in most cases, they literally do the work from your laptop while you sit there and watch. And that's the beauty of the network hardware type job is you don't have to know how to do the programming on the software. You don't have to know how to do the line item code. You just have to be able to physically put it in the rack, get the cable connections in, get your laptop connected to it, get your hotspot on, connect to a remote session, and turn the tech support guys loose, and they will do all the work for you. Usually, the network hardware jobs pay much better than, say, the computer assembly jobs, computer troubleshooting, point of sale. The hourly rates of the flat rates are generally much higher. So this is the second tier that you really want to shoot for. If you're just getting started in this industry, and you're curious what doing IT contracting might look like, on my YouTube channel, I have a playlist that is called Service Call Examples. Go into that and you can watch some of the tickets that I've done. You can get an idea of what it really looks like to be on one of these jobs. Hopefully this gives you some confidence to get out there and start bidding on jobs and taking them and getting out there and making some money in this field. If you got value today from what I shared, please smash that like button and subscribe to my YouTube channel so that I can continue to grow and provide material like this. As always, let's get you out in the field making money. I'll see you in the next video.